Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us at Sacred Paths Yoga. My name is Lacey and today I'll be taking you on an activating journey. We'll build strength and stability in this class to create sustainability and prevent injury in our practice. So we're going to be turning on our stabilizer muscles and charging up the body with some upper body strengthening and core strengthening to bring an overall sense of body awareness. So let's begin. As always, I invite you to come to your seat and find your breath. The breath is really what's going to carry us through this practice that's a little heating, maybe a bit challenging. So let's find it here together. Take a moment to adjust your seat to find one that is comfortable, supported, sustainable. So that may mean elevating your hips or your sitting bones up on a cushion as I have done. That way we can create a little length in our lower back, activate the belly, lengthen the spine, feel our shoulders soften down, and maybe too the eyes close down. That way we can turn our gaze in and simply witness our breath, how it's naturally flowing or not, and adjust accordingly. So creating a cycle that's balanced, breathing fully in and fully out. So in this activating practice, we begin by activating the breath. This is what initiates our practice. This is what our movement follows. So take a few cycles, breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your nose. Feeling your energy start to circulate. Feeling your body and your body awareness start to activate and become alive. Take three more breaths here. Cultivating a sense of calm before we move and flow. On your next inhale, let's bring the arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the right hand down beside the right hip. Take an inhale, reach up through the left fingertips and exhale gently leaning over to the right. And breathe in here and out. Two more times, breathe in and out. Last cycle, keeping the left fingertips active, the sitting bones rooted in the earth. Exhale completely. And then inhale, come back up through center, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, release the left hand down beside the left hip. Inhale, reach up through the right fingertips and gently exhale, leaning over to the left. Breathe in and out. Two more warming cycles like that, keeping both shoulders softening away from the ears. The neck is long and free. Last exhale, inhale, come back up through center, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come to the earth, gently walk yourself forward, coming into your first seated forward fold. And this is just our warm up, so being gentle with yourself, simply using the breath to activate and bring awareness to every part of your body. So noticing what's tight, what feels constricted, where we may have space to move into, to expand. Another breath in and out. Inhale, walk the hands back in towards the shins and roll the spine up. We'll take an inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands circle back behind you, plant the palms down. 
And just an inhale to reverse that stretch, lifting the heart up, expanding across the chest. And exhale, gently release. Gently switch the crossing of your legs, cross the other leg in front. We'll take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale again, hinging at the hips, we'll fold forward and gently walk ourselves down, coming to that place where we're feeling a stretch, yet there's no strain. The breath is still full and open. We breathe into any area that's feeling tight or restricted. Another breath in and full breath out. Inhale, slowly walk the hands back in towards the shins, roll the spine up, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release the hands behind you, plant the palms. Inhale, reversing your forward fold with a gentle heart opener. And exhale, gently release. If you're sitting on something, you can remove it now and we'll make our way to tabletop. So coming on to all fours and setting yourself up here with the fingers spread nice and wide, shoulders stacked over the wrist, hips stacked over the knees, and we'll initiate the breath and allow the movement to follow. Cat cows, inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Push the earth away, chin to chest. A couple more times, inhale, arch the spine. Look up, stretching the front of the body. Exhale, rounding, expanding the back body, tucking the tailbone. Okay, and long breaths, inhale, allow the movement to follow. Exhale. And feeling the freedom to move any way that feels good for your body in this moment. So a little self-exploration, seeing what you find, where you're able to release, where you're able to activate and turn on a little more. And whatever movements you do, being sure to balance them. And we'll meet back in neutral tabletop this time bringing the knees together for a little more stability. On your inhale, we'll lift the right leg back behind us. So extending it out, heel points straight up. And we keep a long spine here. So tailbone lengthens, belly's drawing up and in, crown of the head reaching forward. If you want a little more, you can reach the left arm out in front of you. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest or the knee to the elbow. Inhale, lengthen back out, extend through the fingertips and the toes. Exhale, curling in, contract. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curling in. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. Last one, inhale and exhale inhale extend the right leg back behind you and exhale release the right knee back to the earth and the left hand down if it was lifted let's take a breath here so we wiggling it out maybe and preparing to do the other side so when you're ready on the inhale we'll extend the left leg back behind us heel pointed straight up lifting up through the inner thigh Exhale here, you may stay or reach the right arm forward. So opposite hand and leg. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest or knee to elbow. Good, inhale again, lengthen, stretching in each direction. Exhale, curling in, emptying the breath. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl in. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, contract. 
and we'll inhale, reaching, exhale, releasing back to tabletop. Well done, just noticing now how your breath is fully activated, how we've linked it to movement, so our breath and body is flowing as one. Core is nice and strong now, feeling a little heat maybe building in our upper body. Okay, so coming back to tabletop, knees hip distance apart. Engage the belly from here, let's curl the toes under. And exhale, just lift the knees. So we're kind of hovering here in our pre-downward dog. Press the earth away from you. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Keep the core nice and strong. And from here, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Okay, we'll take about 10 breaths to warm up our downward facing dog. So however that feels good for you. I like to pedal my feet. You can bend one knee, lower the opposite heel. And then switching sides, we can do that a couple times. Stretching out our calves, our toes, our hamstrings. Mm. And you may require now to activate your breath a little more deeply now that we're inverted. So notice if your breath's changed and try to bring it back into balance because our whole body's working in this pose. Every muscle's active, strengthening, stretching. So we want to find a breath too that can support that. So breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. Coming back to a neutral downward facing dog. Hips lifting high, inner thighs spiraling in. And take a breath in and out. On your next inhale, we'll come forward into plank pose, high push up. Exhale here, we'll stay for a few breaths. So if this is too much, you can always lower your knees back down to tabletop. But we want to feel how this shape activates our whole body, right? Such a great strength building posture, our upper body, our core, our legs. So push the earth away from you. Lift up from the back of the heart. Engage the belly, reach the crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Engage the thighs. Push the heels back. We'll take another breath in, a breath out, another breath in, and exhale back to downward facing dog, lifting the hips nice and high. And keep the breath strong here. Flushing out any heat you've built up with the exhale and breathing a new energy, new strength and space to your body. Okay, next inhale, we'll come back forward into plank pose, high push up. Exhale here, and a little more core activation. On your next inhale, we'll lift the right leg up slightly. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen it back. Exhale, release the toes down. Same thing on the left side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen it back. Exhale, place it back down. Again, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale to plank. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, plank. One more time each side. You got it. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale to the elbow. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, plank. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, plank. Woo, inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees. Find child's pose. Well-deserved child's pose. Woo. 
settle your hips down and back onto your heels. Maybe you give your hips a little wiggle to let them settle nice and heavy. The oh, whole upper body gets to relax now. So breathe into that. Give yourself permission to be soft, receptive here. Another breath in and out. Spread your fingers nice and wide, plant the palms into the earth. Inhale, shift forward into tabletop. Curl your toes, exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. Make your way to standing forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, knees gently bent. We'll just hang out here for a few breaths. I like to take opposite elbows and give a couple sways side to side to decompress the spine. Shake my head, let the neck go. Maybe shifting the weight forward and back in your feet, noticing how that feels. New places to activate in the body and bring awareness to. If your elbows are bound, go ahead and release them. Keep the knees bent. On your inhale, we'll slowly roll the spine up one vertebra at a time. As we come all the way up, we'll give our shoulders a nice big shrug up to the ears, roll them down the back. Let the palms open forward. Again, bringing awareness to your breath. It's full activation, the initiator of movement, of flow. Let's breathe in together and exhale. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, gaze towards your fingertips. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway and lengthen, heart forward. Exhale, hands to the earth. You can step back to downward dog or step back to plank pose and lower through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we'll take an inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky, lifting up through the heel. Exhale, bring the right knee to the chest, hovering in plank. Inhale, push back, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, push back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow. Little twist. Inhale, push back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Keep the back heel lifted while we'll inhale, rise up into high crescent lunge. Okay, so we're bending deeply into the right knee. The right knee's tracking right over the right ankle. The tailbone's long, so it might be helpful to take a little bend in the left knee, the back knee, to take out any arching in the lower back. Activate your core. That also helps to support the length of the spine. Soften your shoulders, and most importantly, continue breathing. Another breath in here and out. Preparing to come into warrior three. You can leave your arms up overhead or bring your hands to prayer at the heart center. Slowly start to shift your weight into the right leg. And gently hinge at the right hip, lifting the left leg up behind you till it becomes parallel with the earth. Beautiful, stabilizing, balancing posture. Balancing on the right leg and our upper body in one long line with the lifted left leg. So reaching equally 
forward through the crown of the head as we reach equally back through the back foot. So making sure that legs turned on, we're lifting up through the left inner thigh. We'll take another breath in here and out. And on your next inhale, we'll gently lift the chest back up. Hug the left knee into the chest to give it a squeeze. And then exhale, release mountain pose, Tadasana. Okay, same thing on the left side. Find your breath, breathe in and out. Let it carry you through this dynamic movement. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen, belly in. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back to downward dog, or option to find plank pose, and then lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale, left knee to chest, hovering in plank, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, lengthen up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Back heel stays lifted, ground through your feet. And inhale, slowly rise up into high crescent lunge. So finding your adjustments here. So the lower back is long. You may need a little bend in the right knee. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Arms wide enough for the shoulders to soften down and make space for the neck. Couple more breaths. Feeling the heat build in the thighs. Keeping this core strong to support the lift. And preparing for warrior three, arms can stay lifted or join together at the heart center. Slowly start to shift forward to balance on the left leg. Left leg is rooted, right leg gently lifts up coming to parallel with the earth. Zip the belly in, keep the chest open, heart reaching forward. Keep breathing. Another breath in and out. Inhale, gently lift the chest back up Hug the right knee into your chest, give it one squeeze, and exhale, release. Tadasana. And breathe in and out. On your next inhale, we'll come to chair, last heated standing pose. So sink the hips down, weight into the heels. Heart is lifting. Again, the core is strong here. And energy activating up through the fingertips to keep us lifted. We'll breathe in and out. Breathe in, exhale, sink down a little lower, you got it. Inhale and exhale, gently release, standing forward, fold, well done. And let's just hang out here for a moment, enjoying the softness, enjoying the stretch after so much activation and heat building. Maybe taking a big sigh out on your exhale, or releasing any buildup, any toxins, any heat or friction. Another breath in. Full breath out. And slowly we'll start to bend our knees, coming down to our mats, bringing our sitting bones, our hips to the earth. 
Mm-hmm. Before we come to lie down, one more activating posture for the core. So we're moving into boat pose, Navasana. Start to shift the weight onto your sitting bones. Point the toes down. You can take hold of the backs of the legs or the shins. So most important here is to keep the spine long, the heart lifted, and the breath full. So if it's enough right here, you can stay right here. Maybe start to lift the toes up, bring the shins parallel to the earth. If your breath hasn't changed, the spine's still long, maybe you release the legs, reach the fingertips forward. If you want a little more, you can start to extend the legs. Stay with the breath wherever you are. Let's take one more inhale together. Exhale and gently release. We'll come to lie on our backs. Reach the arms forward, breathe in. Exhale slowly. Come down to rest. Let's take a full body stretch. Inhale the arms overhead, point the toes. Exhale, bring both knees into your chest. We'll squeeze it in as we inhale. And exhale, lower both knees to the right. Just simple supine twist to detoxify, to release all that we've built up. To unwind our practice. Breathe in and out. One more time, softening, softening. Next inhale, bring the knees back through center. Gently hug them in. And then exhale, release the knees over to the left side. Softening the shoulders to the earth, back of the heart can melt down. Breath is full in the belly to really realize the benefits of this posture. Last breath in, full breath out. Inhale, bring the knees back through center. Give them one more squeeze in, exhaling. Maybe a little gentle rocking side to side. And then as you're ready, making your way to our final posture, Shavasana. Extending the legs out, the arms out. The palms facing up, feet falling open, eyes perhaps closing down. And this posture, a beautiful gift to receive after all our hard work. To letting go of all of that activation, all of that muscular engagement. Let everything go soft here. Realizing our receptivity in this softness. Simply returning to our breath. Letting our body go, letting our mind follow. Simply just be as we are in our perfect wholeness.
And returning to breath awareness, simply watching the breath flow in and out of the body, reawakening and re-energizing every cell. And wake up with a little wiggle, a little movement slowly. Big inhale to reach the arms overhead, point the toes and lengthen. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. And gently roll to one side whenever you're ready. No rush in our transition. And take it nice and slow, making your way back up to a comfortable seat in your own time, in your own way. In the moment to allow your practice to settle notice whatever it is you are feeling and accepting it all fully and hopefully noticing deeper sense of body awareness or overall awareness and inviting that with you as you move into the rest of your day or wherever your journey may take you. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Join your palms. Exhale, bring the hands down in front of the heart center. And bowing into the heart's wisdom and gratitude for this practice and for all of you. Namaste.